Hotel Evo. I feel like I just want to perform a fandango. What's fandango? It's a happy dance. Oh, would you like to do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. My happy dance. We have made it to the location, which is actually not very far, and it shows that you don't have to leave home and go super far to capture absolutely amazing content. Um, I have changed clothes because it is absolutely beautiful out here. We're gonna enjoy the sunshine. Eva's going to uh, perform amazing, I hope, like always. And uh, we're gonna show you guys how to get some unique shots. Let's do it. So just as a refresher, uh, I always start off by A, turning off obstacle avoidance if I'm going to be low to the ground trying to get sh slow shots. I just don't want it to speed up and slow down the aircraft. I always confirm that I'm shooting an H265 because I know how I want to edit it afterwards, as well as a uh, log pr color profile. Lock my white balance for what makes sense for the day and what kind of uh, video I'm trying to shoot. And then make sure I'm in 4K60 as well. So. Uh, a lot of the stuff today, we're kind of shooting random B-roll to put together. Uh, and I want it to be in that, that 60 frames a second so I can slow it back down in post. And just make it look a little bit more cinematic and unique, especially for a drone shot uh, being slowed down like that. That's, that's good. No, that's not a good symbol. That's a good symbol. That's the okay. Well, this is good. This is okay. Yeah, that's okay. Is this a K? That's a, no, this is an O. That's a, that's a K. Is that a K? That is pretty good. So it's easy to take a drone out and then go film the landscape and it's always going to look good because it's on a stabilized gimbal and usually the landscape that you're shooting looks amazing. Uh, but then adding another layer, so a vehicle, an animal, a person, person riding a bike, things like that, just adds so much more to the story that you're trying to tell and then also the, the scene itself. And it adds movement and color and a reason why you're shooting that. Uh, so take a look at these different uh, versions of the same place, but with different subjects and different ways of shooting. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to try doing an advanced maneuver, but we're going to use the technology on EVO to make it a lot easier for us. So uh, I'm sure most of you have already seen dynamic track. And usually when people see that is that means that they want to uh, track a vehicle or somebody riding a bike. Uh, but how we're going to use it is we're going to use it to lock onto a subject. And this time it's going to be Greg. Hopefully he doesn't mind but I'm going to manually control Evo. So I'm not gonna go through the settings and actually hit start. I'm gonna leave it in that first menu and then let the drone just control the gimbal and the yaw movement while I control the sliding and the elevation of the drone. And it's gonna do the rest of the work for me. So it's almost like having a dual operator or um, just the ability to do a lot more complex stuff. Also that I always like to do is I try to stack different maneuvers into my shot. Uh, so I like to do things that are not just always sliding or just a dolly shot, just pushing forward. Uh, I like to add arcs and orbits into them. Um, and I like to do them whoa and at varying speeds. So you might not always be able to use the automatic orbit function, which will definitely help you out when you're up in elevation. But if you're, you know, three, four, five feet off the ground, you're gonna wanna do that manually. Uh, so I like to do things like this, where I am uh, orbiting like this vehicle manually, but then I will start stacking different pieces into it. So I will start to change my elevation 
and then I will start to change my elevation and then also tilt that gimbal down so that we are keeping the subject in the center of the frame. And once you start making complex maneuvers and mixing controls and things like that, you'll notice that they can become a lot more unique types of shots. So there's always a, a place and time for that. You don't always want to mix controls, but if you want to stand out uh, from the rest of the drone videos out there, try doing some of those. Right, guys i think that's about it we captured a ton of really good content today absolutely beautiful outside and i don't want to go back but i think that's going to be it so thank you for watching if you like this vlog please remember to subscribe and hit the like button also leave us in the comments on the kind of stuff you guys want to see so we've been trying to add in some different tips and tricks and what we do on our shoots especially just on a nice afternoon like this um, so let us know what would help you guys out or just put your uh, thoughts down there and uh, we'd love to respond to those. So thank you again, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>